In Java, an interface specifies a set of methods that an implementing class must override and define. To create an interface, you replace the word class with the keyword interface in your Java program, and then you list a set of method headers without the implementations, and in a class that is meant to use the interface, you must write implement followed by the name of the interface after the class header. So let's take a look at an example of how to create an interface and implement the interface in a class. So back in our abstract class shape that we created earlier, we have a couple subclasses. We have square, circle, and triangle that all extend shape. And something that can be done with shapes is calculate the area or the perimeter of the shape. So let's create an interface called measurable. So I'm going to right click my package and say new. Then rather than saying class, I'm going to select interface instead. I want to call this measurable and then click finish. And it basically created the Java class that instead of saying public class measurable, it just replaced class with interface. So even if you said new class and then just renamed class to interface, that's fine. And interfaces usually end with able or able, something like measurable. So if something is considered measurable, we should be able to calculate the area and calculate the perimeter. So all you do is you just create the method headers only. And this may or may not return a type. I'm just trying to demonstrate interfaces and let's go to circle. So not only does circle extend shape, but we could say that it implements measurable. And now I get an error because circle has to have those unimplemented methods in order to satisfy the contract of that interface. So let's click on it. And now it added a calculate area and calculate perimeter method, which we could fill in the implementations later. And that's pretty much an interface. It's just, it's basically a contract that says if any class implements this interface, it must define the bodies of all these methods listed in the interface. And let me, I'm gonna actually remove these from here and remove the implements measurable from the circle class. And let's add that to the shape class instead. Let's say that our abstract class, shape, implements measurable. And watch this. I'm going to click Save. And now I'm instantly getting an error in all three classes, square, circle, and triangle. So I didn't have to implement the interface in the subclasses. If I did it at the parent class level or the base class level in shape, now all the subclasses must have those unimplemented methods, circle, square, and triangle. And then you could fill in the implementations later, but that basically says that all shapes are now measurable. And you can actually implement as many interfaces as you want. Here's another interface, new interface drawable. And if something is drawable, we should have a draw method, in which we already have the draw method in circle, square, and triangle. So we can say that shape implements measurable and drawable. So we don't actually even need to have this abstract method because the interface is requiring it anyways. And if I was to erase one of these draw methods in square, it's going to give me an error and says that the interface requires me to have this draw method. So let's add it back in there, put it on the bottom, and let's draw the square again.